back to Matt Patrick. KTRH News Time is 647. Thanks so much for listening to Houston's Morning News. Joining me right now is Gary Grief. He's the executive director of the Texas Lottery and lead director for Mega Millions. Gary Grief. Now, with a name like that, Gary, I would think there would be no grief in your life because you give joy to everyone, correct? Yeah, that name doesn't make sense for what I do, Matt. I'm giving away money that brings no grief to me at all. I would think not. It's great to have you, Gary. Thanks for taking the time. All right, so a record over half a billion dollars. Um, You know, Gary, that... People have to think, if you win money, if it's a one person that wins that kind of money, you really have to think long and hard about what you're going to do with that, right? Well, that's part of the fun, Matt. People tell me that the most fun they have playing Mega Millions is from the time they buy that ticket to the time the numbers are drawn, because that's when they can dream and think about everything they might do with all those dollars. Now, I mean, we've got some very unimaginative uh, responses from people, and I'm not kicking on anybody, but uh, tell me the most interesting thing that you've heard a lottery winner has purchased or done with winnings. Well, we always hear about, I'm going to buy a new car, new home, new homes for my relatives, I'm going to take vacations, etc. But the stories that always interest me and the ones that, that really make us feel good for those of us who work here are the ones who find a way to somehow give back to their community or give back to the causes that they want to support. Those really make us feel like we're doing good. So, Gary, it seems like for many people who stay on the sidelines during the lottery, this brings everybody out of the woodwork, half a billion dollars. Absolutely, and I would encourage everybody, don't wait until late Friday afternoon to get out and buy your tickets. The lines are going to be incredibly long. Don't forget that all the money that you spend on lottery tickets in Texas goes to support public education. And with $500 million, a half a billion on the line, we're just hoping that someone in Texas is going to grab that jackpot. All right, what's the odds of me? uh, I'm finally going to get in. You finally hit a number. That where it makes sense for me to get in. Yes. <laughs> Good it's job, Matt. For Matt. <laughs> what, what are the odds, Gary? Well, the odds of winning the jackpot prize are one in 176 million. <laughs> but so, I can promise you one thing, Matt. What's that, Gary? If you don't buy a ticket, you cannot win. I always hear That's that from uh, from the lottery people. <laughs> hey, Gary, uh, you sound like uh, the exact right guy to head up the uh, the Texas Lottery and the lead director for Mega Millions. It's got to be uh, very exciting for you guys. Thanks for taking the time, and uh, we look forward to having you back when uh, my ticket wins and I'm asking you what to do with the money. Great. I'll be there, Matt.